my people, you see in this life, eh? Any any picky way say mama no go sleep, that picky no go sleep her own, I be his own, seriously. Anyways, they said Kabi Esi told a bit of elders that uh, came to the palace for peace. They said they have come to, you know, find a way to make peace between Queen Naomi and uh, and Tibira. They said Kabi Esi told them as in what they never expected. No be smarting. Anyways, before we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ipe. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? So, guys, they said uh, four elders from Ibira, they stormed the palace rooting for peace. According to them, they said that they have talked to their, to their daughter. You know, for the last time, that they are not going to come again after this one, and they believe that their daughter will change for good. That Kabi Eshi should understand that women, that whenever they are in love, they tend to be so emotional, and out of that emotional, they be they misbehave sometimes. You know, that uh, their daughter is just a woman that is behaving as one that is in love, and that is because he loves Kabi Eshi so dearly. That is why he is she is doing some of these things that she is doing in order to protect her husband and all of that. They said that was what they were saying. And I said, did they say misbehave sometimes? <laughs> Even going against KBS's decision, Abby? Even coming to the palace to uh, bury report, Abby? Guys, the only reason these people are here, if you ask me, is such that their daughter will regain her freedom and herself completely. Because they believe so much that KBSC knows what is happening to these people. Yes, they believe that KBSC is aware of what is happening. And that is why he have decided not to talk or say anything concerning it. Because the last one that made them to believe this is this. Initially, they were thinking that it was KBSC who activated his ancient sword. But when they went on investigation to find out exactly what was wrong, they said it was that Biri Potts that they buried, that they did not keep the rules and regulation given to them by the Babalao that gave them that pot. You know, if you remember that pot, they were not the ones that dig the pot out. It was uh, the custodian of Odua Sacred Forest and some other if a priest from Brazil, from what we heard allegedly, they said they were the ones who uh, dig out that pot and take it to somewhere and burn it. And this is against the rule guiding that pot that was given to them. That is why it is affecting them. But they said there was on a certain occasion that uh, KBAC invited her to come to the palace for a meeting. You know, because she, she is still doing all her royal duties so because you will still be seeing her on social gatherings and all of that. They said she's still going to represent KBAC everywhere. And that is why they say KBAC doesn't bother himself. The only thing that... Uh, the only person that is bothered here is the women who are no longer uh, 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 relaxed in the palace because they said they cannot come to the palace on their own now and feel comfortable, no. So they said that day, KBSC invited her. She came to the palace. They had their meetings. They said she stayed close to four hours and nothing happened to her. But the moment that meeting was over, after some minutes that she was still inside that palace, they said the thing started. It started scratching her, scratching her everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> Such that she became uncomfortable in that palace. So with that, they believe that KBSC knows exactly what is wrong with them. You know? But some people are saying that uh, that, that place that they find out that it was about the beauty pot, that they were told to go into the palace and do some rituals that place that they buried the pot inside the palace. But they said Kabiesi did not allow them. Not just Kabiesi, they said all the kingmakers and the, some elders who have heard about it, that they said that nothing of that nature will happen in that palace. So these people have the audacity, the nerve to go and bring such pot and bury inside the palace with nobody's uh, 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 no, the, with nobody's idea, does nobody know about it? If not, that it happened the way it happened. After all, they put that court there against KBSC's decision, and in order to manipulate KBSC, 
you know. So, but since God have vindicated Kabiesi by uh, using the Efa priest them to dig it out because it was God's in God's action, you know, God was in action or God is in action. That was why he revealed about that spot, you know. And now it is working against them. No wonder during that period, Kabiesi will say, eh, Benami will come back. At the end of the day, Benami will not come back because they were using the port and the other things to manipulate him. And God saved him, and you want him to say, okay, because I want my wife to be well again. Okay, come and do the ritual. They said, he said, no, that that is not happening. But these elders from Ibira, their main reason for coming is begging Kabiesi to please allow them go and do the ritual so that their daughter will come and relax in her matrimonial home. That the, this is her, her uh, this is his wife, or no matter how he sees it, or no matter how she have offended him, that she is still Kabiesi's wife and all of that. My people, wonder shall never end. And the say Kabiesi told them that he is an African king, you know, and as an African king, he has the right to marry as many wives as possible. And for that same reason, he also have the right to tell his wife, you will stay here or you will live here. And the wife will obey him. That if the wife fails to obey him, anything that comes out of it, that she is on her own. And for the fact that she have said that they should not stay in the palace. And the, the thing is that they say when they are outside there, they don't experience all of these things. You know? So with that, you cannot tell the exact source of this their problem. Whether Kabi is know about it or, or it's just about that Buri port though. Because I believe it is if it is all about the Buri port, they will if the moment they step into the palace, it will start. But they say if Kabi is invites them, nothing will happen. But if they come on their own, they will not feel comfortable. The, the thing will start again. So we don't know which one to <laughs> anyways. The only thing I do know is that. Their time is up in that palace. Hmm? So if this information is true, let them just go outside and stay home, and still be answering Ogunsi because that is one thing they, they, one, one reason they left their loved ones, they left their ex-husband, they left their children, they left everything, so their hotels in Kanu just to come and answer Ogunsi. And the name have been given to them. So let them obey the man that gave them the name and be peaceful and choose to disobey and face the consequences. My people, they say no be smart. The Secretary of have made it clear to these people that there will be no need for any peace. There is no problem. Uh -huh. That is only when there is problem that people talk about peace. But here, the palace is peaceful without them. Anyway, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Tell me what you think about it and give this video a thumbs up. Bye for now. Love you guys.